Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're gonna be taking a look at how do you add multiple areas using the area command in AutoCAD. This is gonna allow you to add or subtract multiple objects from your area calculation, making it easy to quickly grab areas of odd shaped objects or different areas from different parts of a floor plan. Uh, I think you guys are gonna really enjoy this one. So let's jump right in. <laughs> All right, so let's jump right in. Uh, you can see here I've got an odd shaped object I've whipped up and I'm gonna show you how to use the area command to grab a couple different areas from this object as well as how to uh, quickly remove an area from an object that you may be trying to get an area from. So you can start by typing in A-R-E-A, -E -A, area for the area command and hitting enter. Now, most people have used this command and if you've used it, you would normally just click around here and choose your area and you can see it's highlighting what it's calculating and when you're done and hit enter it'll simply give you an area you can see here we've got 52 square feet or 7500 square inches this is going to depend on the units of your drawing but the cool thing here is if you type in that area command again and before you start anything you choose add area. This is gonna let you stack or add multiple areas and it's gonna give you a running total of your total area. So in our example here, we're gonna choose an object to start. So you can do so by hitting O and hitting enter. And now you can choose an object to instantly grab that area. You can see again that we've got the 52 square feet and around 7,500 square inches. But Continuing this command, you can now select another object and it's going to simply add it or stack it to your total. So you can see we're now at 60 square feet and you can see in the line above, it gives you the area of that second object, which was 8.6 square feet. Now you can continue doing this. You can see I can grab another one over here until you're done and wanna move on or in this case, maybe we want to remove an area. It could be a specific object or a random shape. So you can see right now we're at 95 and uh, a half square feet, roughly. I'm gonna hit enter and we're gonna come back to that main area menu and we're gonna choose subst subtract area. From here, we can decide whether we want to subtract an area by simply tracing one out or click that O or hit O for object uh, or we can switch back to add an area. I'm gonna continue along with the drawing option. So we're just gonna draw in in a regular shape here. And you can see that it's turning red where it's gonna remove this area. And when you're done, simply hit enter. You can see down here that it's given us the new total square footage, which is 83.327. And it's shown us the area that was removed. It was 12.159. Now, if you're done, you can simply hit enter to end the command. It's gonna remove those highlighted hatch areas and you've got your total in the command line here. You can hit F2 to bring this up so you can see the previous lines you've used as well as the calculations as it's gone. You could copy this and paste it into a text or Excel document so you've got a record or just screenshot it so you don't lose anything. Next up, we're gonna go through this again using a different example. But before we jump into that, I wanna remind you guys that you can pick up the AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course I put out on the channel and blog earlier this year. It's discounted using the link up above and down below. It's got hours of content packed uh, into it and it's made up of basically 10 years of experience of tips, tricks, trial and error, and questions from you guys in the beginning of the year, I surveyed thousands of CAD Intentions members on the newsletter and responded with answering all of their questions in this course. So it's got everything from best practices and workflows to setting up templates, annotative text and dimensions, XREFs and layouts, all kinds of stuff, hours of content, and it's discounted for you guys using that link down below or up above for members. I think you guys are gonna really enjoy it. But for now, let's move on to this next example. So moving over here, you can see we've got a floor plan and we're gonna do the same area command and I'm gonna show you how this can be used in a real world example. So again, we're gonna trace out an area. This time we're gonna hit A to add an area. 
And to start, we're just going to trace out uh, this area down here. So you can see we're tracing out the master bedroom quickly. And I like that the area command highlights everything as you're doing it. Now, it doesn't really matter in the long run, but it does make selecting your areas in this way a little bit easier so you can double check just by zooming out and seeing that you've got everything you'd like. Hitting enter is going to add that to your running total. So you can see we've got 231 square feet for the master bedroom. And now we're gonna add an object by clicking on that O or object button. And we're gonna select this hatch up here. You can see it's added another 159 square feet. So we're up to 390. And let's say we want to uh, add another one over here and remove this closet. So you can see adding the bathroom to the right here, added almost 70 square feet and we're up to 460 total square feet. Hitting enter and then S or subtract down here is gonna let me trace out and remove this closet so we don't count it uh, as say usable floor space and hitting enter is going to add that in or remove it from our total. Again, hitting F2 is gonna bring up your command line history. And you can see we went from 460 square feet here down to 444 square feet. That removed about 16 square feet from our total. And that didn't take much time at all to quickly grab three square footage areas from our floor plan, adding and removing as we went. And this is gonna save you a ton of time anytime you get asked to do quick area takeoffs or estimates. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below if you haven't and like this video. And if you guys haven't already, you can check out how to join the membership of the Cat Intentions YouTube channel. You get perks like special emojis and notifications as well as a private community tab on the channel page where I'll post members only behind the scenes pictures or behind the scene video. Uh, you also get to help support the channel uh, while getting some cool perks in the process. So once again, thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a good one. See you in the next video. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.